Okay, you guys, it's your girl Corey Van Ness from A Palm, a piece of me inspirational entertainment. Yes, yes, yes. Vasina Viv, A Palm, Soul Confessions, and Ha, the QA, the questions and answers about love, life, and faith that you guys still have. We have a we have a still have a lot of cards. We have no hair for cards. But you know, we're going we're gonna to pick them out. We're going to continue until we're all done. Until we're all done. So let's start off first. The question was, what is your conflict? What is your inner conflict? Your true soul confession um, when it comes to love, life, and faith? Which In which area? What is your challenge between what you know and what you think? And what you know and what you feel? And what you know and what you want? Where, in which area are you experiencing a challenge? That was the question. And we we're just going to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you to give me discernment, to give me wisdom, your wisdom, your discernment, Father. Just to help me answer these questions, Lord. Not leaning on our own understanding, but in all things trusting you for this wisdom, Father. For I know, O oh God, that... You go, you, your ways are higher than our ways. I know that when you speak a word that it is healing, that it will bring about reconciliation with you, with themselves, with, with each other, Lord God. And I, I, I pray, this is my prayer, that there will be reconciliation, inner peace, inner joy, and inner salvation, inner redemption, inner liberation of this conflict. And um, I just thank you, Father, for being the center of everything that we do, being the center of everything that we are. And again, Holy Spirit, just have your way. Arrest me if I'm speaking nonsense and just allow everybody's ears to hear what you want them to hear, to filter out anything that is not from you, O oh God, or of you, O oh Lord, that they will be focused and listen and hear your voice instead of mine. O oh God, in Jesus' name is my prayer. Amen. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. Next question is ultimate freedom. Ultimate freedom is a challenge. The ultimate freedom. ultimate freedom I again this is this is a bit difficult for me never too difficult for God um, because when, when I read something um, I'm not sure in which context you meant this because you just said ultimate freedom what is the challenge ultimate freedom I can only respond to it in general. And if you want to be more specific, please write a comment, send me a, a message so that I can, you know, go in a little deeper. But I want to be sure that it's in the context that you meant it to be. So for now, I'll just keep it a little general and I pray and hope that somewhere in my answer you be able to apply your context uh, to um, the information that I'll be sharing. Um, ultimate freedom. Well, I believe ultimate freedom, what comes to mind right now is the moment that we meet Jesus again, the moment that we're in heaven and we meet him face to face and our bodies are glorified. Uh, for me, that is ultimate freedom because then indeed our bodies are glorified. We, we receive a new embodiment. You know, um, as long as I'm still in this body, walking the, this earth, you know, I, 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 personally don't experience it at, as ultimate freedom. Um, however, obviously we're free, who the sun sets free is free indeed, you know, but that's just based on 
that you're no longer a slave to sin. You're no longer a slave to uh, this body. You're not alone, no longer a slave to the desires of the flesh or the works of the flesh. You know, there is, there is, um, there is a way out. There is an exit, you know. Uh, there's there are the fruits of the spirit that is given to us that that if we apply them if we choose them if we choose to walk in the spirit instead of the flesh we we will um, be superior over um, the how do you say that the enslavement uh, which comes together with sin uh, and comes together with with this body <laughs> that we walk in right now. Um, yeah, so for me, ultimate freedom is, again, is the day that we are glorified in God. Um, in, in the, at the moment that we, we receive an, a new embodiment and our bodies are glorified, you know? Um, that, to me, is ultimate freedom, ultimate freedom. But again, uh, yeah know that even before that moment comes even in the here and now while we're still here on earth walking uh, in our bodies uh, having to um, manage our soul experiences and being that renewed spirit you know um, creating me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me um, when, you know, when our spirits are renewed, when we are, when we've received a renewed spirit, you know, that is where we're totally free, you know, totally free as, you know, here on, as we're still walking the earth. Um, however, again, we're, we're still, yeah, how do I explain this? I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. There are two different, well, maybe more, but in this case, two different uh, perceptions of freedom, ultimate freedom. Freedom as in you don't have to be a slave to sin anymore, not your sin, not, not the sins of your forefathers, uh, not the sin of Adam and Eve. Um, that is ultimate freedom, ultimate freedom. Um, if you believe that the, God so loved the world and gave his only begotten son and whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Um, if you believe that Jesus conquered the death, the dead, the death, <laughs> conquered death <laughs> pretty much um, and the dead, um, then he that is in you, you know, is, is, is Christ, is Christ. And if he, how do you say that? If he's, he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. And he, if he is for you, who can be against you? You know, in that, in that way, you know, we are free. We are free um, in the sense there's always hope. There's always hope. But again, ultimate freedom, I think that uh, can be interpreted differently per person. So I'm curious to know what you perceive, perceive as ultimate freedom. Uh, but again, for me, ultimate freedom is, is almost the moment when I meet my Savior, my Jesus face to face, my God face to face and um, I'm released and relieved <laughs> from this body that we live in. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, bye.